hello. I'm struggling right now, actually. I'm actually struggling. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't think anything. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Sorry. Let me hide the mess happening behind me. Just a little bit. I just showered and I'm getting ready to go to Halloween Horror Nights. And I'm really fucking excited because I've been waiting to go. It's 4.46 p.m. I feel and look crazy because I just took a nap. I wasn't even tired when I got home, but I was like, let me take a nap because if I don't take a nap, I know I'm going to be tired by like 10 p.m. Like falling asleep at home in morning. And I don't really want that. Sorry, don't look at me putting my deodorant on. So I forced myself to take a nap. I knew I would appreciate it later, even though I feel crazy right now after waking up. Sometimes when I take naps, I feel just like so disoriented. Is that a word? Yeah. You ever take a nap and then wake up and like one of your body parts aren't awake yet? Like it just feels like one of them's still really just not waking up. And you don't know what to do that's my foot right now my leg my ankle still asleep and like it's time to wake up <laughs> i just it just hurts i'm gonna get ready right now and then i'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna have a little halloween adventure but i desperately need to get ready because whatever's happening here is not that bad but oh i'm so hungry i got this drink from wawa on my way home and it's so good i love these specifically the chocolate banana one the other ones are fine like the chocolate one is fine the vanilla one's fine it's just not like the chocolate banana one is just really good if you like protein drinks so i they didn't have that one oh, well, and i've never tried this one so i got this one to try and it's actually really good i actually really enjoy it all of them have they taste like protein powder like that's just how all of them taste you can't really get away from that because protein powder is a fucking very potent taste but this is good it's like sweet and cinnamony and it's just i really enjoy it the chocolate banana one is still the best it's kind of hitting it's kind of hitting i'm also gonna wear a hoodie tonight because it's a little chilly outside i think i'm just gonna do the mini yeah i'm just gonna do a little bit i don't remember which concealer i use let's just use both oh well this is a little dry so i don't think it's this one I think they're all just a little bit too dark my skin no, that's not bad i'm really hungry right now i don't know what to eat i think we're just gonna go get food but i just don't know where that's happening i probably should like send a little text <laughs> i didn't mean to do that i was supposed to meet them at their house but traffic is so bad so i think i'm just gonna meet them there i was really so excited i love them we're gonna use the rare beauty bronze i love love like haunted house it was like Halloween Horror Night, Scream Again, and if you're in Florida, I love those things, okay? I love a haunted house. I love a spooky event. I love it. It's so fucking fun. I don't get scared very easily in stuff like that. If it's something that I know is coming, like I know someone's about to jump out at me. So like, I'm usually pretty good. Sometimes they get me, but I just don't really, like if I know it's coming, I'm not going to get scared. It's just so fun. I just really enjoy it but i don't like scary movies i don't really watch them that much they make me anxious and i already am anxious a lot of the time so i prefer not to add on to the anxiety but i do like some of them like i, I definitely don't like demon ghost possession movies like that type of stuff i'm just i'm okay i don't really like horror movies that much i'm sorry i do really like it that's my favorite horror movie i like horror movies when they're like funny and scary like they're not too scary not even funny because like it's not funny but it is kind of you know like it has a humor to it which is just what i prefer because if not i'm gonna be shaking and crying in the corner i've been watching agatha all along i went to my parents house and i watched it with my stepdad because i hadn't watched any of it yet so we watched the first four episodes i think yeah and then i just watched the fifth episode last night and that shit is so good like it's kind of spooky it's, it's not scary but it's like spooky and like funny and i just love that like that's my type of spooky show or movie like if i'm gonna watch anything during halloween it's gonna be something like that because like if we can't play and have a little fun i don't want to watch it because it's gonna fucking stress me out but i get to all along 10 out of 10 no fucking notes now i'm a little bit stressed out because i think i'm gonna do my blush 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 because it's releasing it like every wednesday so it's not out i can't binge the rest of it even though i just binged the first half of it and now i have to wait which is why i waited so long to watch it in the first place because i didn't want to have to wait per for every week so now i'm just kind of like what now because it's so fucking good but it's a good thing that i'm re-watching vampire diaries because at least i have something to watch in the meantime i'm on season three it's crazy to switch from season two to season three like in quality i'm a little sad because season three is like season one two and three are the best after that it's still good but it starts to kind of and then the end 
We don't talk about it. What am I doing? I actually don't know. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Actually, my throat is so fucking itchy. Ever since I stayed in my parents' house with a hurricane, my throat has been literally itchy. Allergies acting up a little. What do I need to do next? I guess I can do powder. I don't really blend out my my bronzer to the best of my ability. I used the wrong brush. I think my makeup is too dry. Because every time I put it on, it feels like it's sucking on the moisture out of my face. I think I need some more moisturizing elements. Maybe like some moisturizing uh, primer or something. Because it's sucking all the moisture and then I get oily because I feel like my skin is overcompensating. Guys. Guys. I'm gonna do eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner. Okay, I haven't tried a lot of eyeliners. I like the next one, but it literally is like, it doesn't have any extra. It's just literally like the littlest bit at the top. And then once you're out, it's out, unless I'm stupid. And it dries out really fast. So I don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna try a little waterline. See, it's like dry. That did nothing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of brown eyeshadow and just kind of try something. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, made a mistake. We're all messing up. That's good enough. I'm gonna do some like freckles. I mess this up every time. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Eyebrows. I need to dye my eyebrows. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. <laughs> Have you ever seen those that eyebrow filter on TikTok? Where you put it and it like shows you where your eyebrows should be. I tried that before and I tried to like trim the bot the what's this called the end the tail of my eyebrow and it looked really weird and I didn't like it. So I grew it back. So many people I see do it. it looks so much better with how it says. So maybe I didn't do it right. I had to change my memory card. I ran out of space. I always look so weird when I do my eyebrows. It's just like scratched. I think that's good enough for now. And then. I'm basically done. Something is in my eye and it just like irritated it bad. I just got something in my eye and it's literally turning so red. Aftermath of freckles. This is why makeup just feels so weird on my face. I probably shouldn't have put mascara on until I got the thing out of my eye. It's too late. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited for this. Everyone has, I've heard so many people talk about the Insidious house and I need to know if it's as scary as people say. I actually have never seen Insidious. This is the weird thing too, because I like the haunted houses and stuff, but I don't ever watch, I don't really watch Halloween or I don't only really watch horror movies. So I end up, usually whatever the house is themed after, I haven't seen it, unless it's like Stranger Things. I have seen Stranger Things. I am excited too. For the Quiet Place house, I forgot that they had that this year. A Quiet Place. That movie was so good, I cried. The new one that came out. But I think that's such a good idea because then like, if y'all try to be quiet throughout the house, because like, if not, you're gonna die. It's just a fun little challenge. If that were the real world and any of you bitches, like I'm I'm gonna be alone. Cause if any of you bitches start making noise, I am I will push you out into the middle of the fucking road and that shit's getting you because why are you being loud? Be so serious right now. The one like really fucking sad thing is like, if that were to happen, what about the dogs? So many dogs bark and like I know Waffle would be barking at that shit. That just feels so fucked up. Absolutely not. What the fuck is this eyelash? <sighs> I think that's done. I didn't put lip stuff on yet. This is the current situation of my hair. I just need to fix like the front and the top. I feel like it's gonna get frizzy though. Being outside and like how humid it is. So I might just end up putting it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been using this Spotify like DJ thing. And I like it. But sometimes it'll literally switch in the middle of the fucking song. Bitch, I didn't ask you to do that. It doesn't make any sense to me. It was just playing main by Noah Khan. And it skipped to the next song in the middle of the fucking song. That is a song you cannot skip. It'll always be the song that like I'm really into and I love. It'll slowly fade out and fade to the next one and I'm like, oh, I know we were doing that. So I still like it because it switches it up. But why are we doing that? At least finish the fucking song. If I want to skip it, I'll skip it. I know DJs don't normally play the whole song, but like it'll be like the best part of the song too. At least finish the lyric that it's saying. I don't know if this is good. good i was gonna wear my twilight shirt wait that's kind of cute is that kind of cute i'm torn because i feel like it's gonna be a little chilly and i'm gonna get a little 
cold, but also there's gonna be a lot of people, so I think I might get hot. But I can always just take my jacket off, but I don't wanna carry that all night. I prefer to carry a jacket, I think, than to be cold at all, so I'll probably just carry it if I have to. Like, this would be kinda cute off the shoulder. Like, am I giving Halloween um, Horror Nights? Am I giving Spooky? Am I giving Vampire? We should try it on and make a decision. Just no. know that I'm gonna get cold, right? That's kind of cute. Hello. Hey. Cute. I don't know what I should wear. Should I wear this or should I wear like a jacket? I think I'm gonna get cold. No, I might get cold. That's why I'm wearing a long sleeve. Okay, I'm gonna wear a jacket. I wonder if I could wear both. Hey, don't email me. Okay, I think they're picking me up. Does this look weird? I'm not wearing these shoes, okay? I don't even kind of cute and my hair is kind of greasy this i know that i have talked about this before but this is the best smelling thing ever i need it to be a body spray body lotion body shower gel body mist body lip scrub everything i literally just spray it on me and just like rub it in i know it's for hair okay that's not what i use it for i use it for my body my body they like rip the neck a little So it's loose. Oh, I think I did it a little too much. Too much. Removing location. I'm gonna wear my Converse this because I feel as though it goes with this outfit. Oh my gosh. That shit smells so good. I'm smelling it. Okay. Shoes are on. This is not the lip product I want. Let's try maybe this. Too red. This. The red is kind of. No, I don't like the red. It's good. I think I'm gonna darken around my eyes a little. Finished look, I guess, for now. Or should I just wear the jacket? Guys, right, so I can't decide. We could just wear this. Oh, but I don't have a zipper on this jacket. I broke. My zipper's fine, but these pants are just a little like weird and loose. So they kind of just like look weird. I think, maybe. I could bring my bag. I wasn't gonna bring my bag. I was just gonna put my wallet and stuff in my pocket. But I could try to like roll this up so that I have this in my bag just in case. So that will fit in the bag. Ooh. So I'm gonna take like half of this shit out. We have a little bit of gloss. Best glossy gloss. I guess I have to take this big ass hand cream out because this is taking up half my bag. I'm gonna put all of the main stuff in the little pouch so I can just fit my jacket. This is a bad idea. I'm fucking hate it. Fucking It fits, but it's not really zipping. Do I wanna lug this around? We need to rethink our, our situation right now. What if I wear the Twilight shirt and the jacket? Cause then that just doesn't give. That just, that's just not. I might just have to be cold. That's the thing. I might just have to be cold. It says it's not supposed to rain, but it's gonna be 70 degrees. It's gonna get down to 69. That's chilly. I'm either gonna wear this or the jacket. We'll see. Be clear, cause I can't fucking decide. But I do wanna wear this. Just to update you, my fucking foot is still asleep. It's, only, it's not even asleep. Maybe it is asleep. I don't know. It's not tingly. It just isn't feeling right. This is good as fuck. Okay, let's go. Update. They are minutes away. I have decided on the jacket because I did walk waffle just now. And why was that wind a little too gusty for me? It got a little chilly. Also, I put on this necklace that I haven't worn in literally forever. It's just a cheap necklace that I got from Princess Polly. I need to look at my nails. I am trying to decide if I'm a gold girl or a silver girl. I think I'm a gold girl. I kind of want to be silver, but then I, I just think I'm gold. Okay, I think we're ready. This is the outfit. I need to wear my other necklace, but I don't know where it went. I don't know if I like the necklace. Oh, Lord. I found it. Should I wear this instead? It's just a silver necklace. Oh, got it on the first try. I think that means I should wear this. I'm being extremely indecisive with my looks today. So we're just gonna go with this. This is just what's gonna happen. Yes, I wish I had a fucking zipper. It's gonna have to old lady it can we like fix zippers every zipper i have on my fucking sweaters breaks all of them break every single one my brandy melville jacket i got two weeks after i got it broke i can wear this one <laughs> see i'm gonna stop switching shit up but i can wear this jacket bitch 
This one doesn't fucking zip either. Can I get it to zip? Can I use force? Or will that trap me into the jacket? Brother. Oh my god, they're literally here. Hi! Hey! I need to be- Oh lord. cap i had so much fun we did every single house besides ghostbusters the food was booty you should probably eat beforehand if you're gonna go i was so excited for the potato twists they were literally freezing cold we also got pizza skulls and they were raw in the middle so that was crazy they didn't have many scare zones this year i don't know what happened with that my favorite house was a quiet place it was so detailed and i thoroughly enjoyed insidious was not as scary as people say at all i think i would give it a three out of ten just because i was a little disappointed because i was excited for the scare but it wasn't like a bad house it just wasn't scary least favorite house was the goblin house what the fuck was that the cinema house was also really cool had a great time would do again love a good spooky event that's it Love you, bye.